Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Stone Block Mod Pack. I hope everybody's doing good. Today's episode three, and it's going to be a great episode that plans to move the spawner. We're going to make a big tree room and all kinds of other fun stuff. So first question of the day, with all of the new stuff coming to modded Minecraft, what are some of your favorite things that have been added recently? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you use hashtag question of the day to let me know. As always, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode. I hope everybody's doing good. To get started with today's episode, I wanted to talk about the spawner a little bit. So I got to thinking, right, we're really underutilizing our spawner section because we have pretty much 100% efficiency in spawning, if you think about it, because there's nowhere else mobs can spawn. So for us, this is like, this is like the best thing ever. So we can make a really high efficiency spawner. Before I can do that though, that I need to make a hammer, which requires a tool forge because I am not gonna sit there and mine that entire thing out with like some kind of uh, like iron hammer from, you know, from thermal dynamics or like a regular pickaxe or something. Heck no, <laughs> that sounds awful. So what I've been doing is I've been, I got gravel, sand, and then I made some clay and I'm gonna make some more, I think. We are going to make, why is that one? Oh, infinity, I'm like, wow, that one's shiny. I like that one. So we're gonna make some grout here. Grout's still the same recipe, of course. And then put this in our like super smelter here. So that's gonna make the, the brick that we need. We need at least three of those. While that waits, or while that works, I'm gonna make some iron. There we go. And I think we need that tool station we made. Yeah, so let's grab that tool station. Fantastic. So that's almost done. So yay, we've got a forge. Even a stone hammer will be better than anything we could work with. So there's a forge. Now that may actually give us um, a quest finished. Let me find my little game boy. Did that finish anything for us? I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. All right, so now that we've got a tool forge, we need to use these other tables here to help us. So grab both of those and some patterns, put that there, put that there. So we can make the hammer, which is right here. So we need large plates, hammer head, and a tough tool rod. So put these up here. So we're gonna need hammer head, tough tool rod, and plates, there we go. So we are gonna make this out of uh, cobblestone for now. It's gonna be super easily repaired being stone-based. Um, so iron head, or not iron head, what am I thinking? There we go, let's have tool rod, and did I not pull, where did I put that other pattern? Oh wow, I just like threw that thing completely away, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, so uh, large plate, large plate, hammerhead, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we now have a tools, uh, stone bound, big old hammer. From the looks of it, it's gonna be kind of slow. Now, I'm very curious, right? How does one get like redstone? I'm assuming I probably have to sieve for it. Heavy sieve. Okay, so using iron stiffened mesh. I can get redstone to put on there. All right, so what about diamonds? I'm assuming diamond is the same way then. We need to probably upgrade our mesh to get diamond. So to get diamond, we need a 1% chance with an iron stiffened mesh. So I think I'm gonna take some time off camera. Let's put that up. Uh, I wanna make some iron stiffened mesh here. It just depends. I wonder how many I should probably make. Well, first off, let's see how many we can make. So seven. Ooh, you know what? Let's think about this in terms of how we want to use this thing. Obviously, we don't need a ton of diamond mesh, so probably save that row. So I think I'm going to make, if possible, let's make maybe 10 of the iron mesh. Leave the empty row, the middle row for diamond. And so do, I think I have some more iron. We're probably going to need to make more. 42 more there. Okay, let's go to make just a little bit more iron. I don't think that's going to be enough 
to make what we need full on. And that's a lot of iron that we're using too, so. Okay, let that finish, grab that. So, I mean, if we could make 10, that would be pretty fantastic, but I don't think it's gonna work that way. So there's nine, I am two pieces of iron short. Yes, two pieces of iron short. Um, I'm assuming we'll get more iron as we go. So there's seven. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut here and I'll come back once I have made some progress. All right, guys. So the game plan here is to remove this spawner completely. What we're going to do is we're going to build an add on like we have right here in this room. <clears throat> then we're going to kind of work backwards. It's going to be a pretty simple mob spawner. We're just going to use water canals. The mobs will fall down. We'll push the mobs forward. It'll be pretty simple. May even use like conveyor belts or something. Um, let's see. I know that there is the immersive engineering belts. There are industrial foregoing belts, but I don't have. How do you make just the base conveyor belts? Okay, so I don't have plastic. There probably will also be, um, oh, what are those things called? They're not pads, um, extreme. I think they're called vector plates. That's right. So there's vector plates as well, but that requires slime. Huh? So we'll probably use water for sure. So let's come over here. So I've got some redstone, some emeralds and some diamonds. Now, I know this was glitched before, right? Where you try to use an emerald on your hammer and it didn't work. So let's just, this is supposed to add durability of 50%. So 50% of 20 is 10, so it should give us oh, 32. Actually, it looks like it's probably working then. So let's go ahead and put a diamond on there. That's gonna give us 520 durability. So 50% of 520 is roughly 260. So it should put us up to about uh 780 see that's that's where i'm confused right because it added 12. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense so instead i think i'm going to put some redstone on here to kind of speed the mining process up a little bit so we now have a much much better hammer let's actually go ahead and just test this thing real fast oh it's so much better look at it it's beautiful it's beautiful i tell you no, it's it's so good, though. So the game plan here is going to be to backfill all of this stuff in. So basically, we're going to have the walls come down. Let me grab some brick here. Uh, if I have any. There we go. Perfecto. So one, two, three. And then use this to get rid of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So something like that, right? So we'll have walkway here. So then the mobs will fall down and flow to water towards us in front of us. I think that's probably how we're going to handle it. So above us, I'm going to put a few layers, probably 20 blocks above. Because if you think about it, we're going to have to use the three, four, five method to make it three, four. And then the five is the angle that comes. So we'll use the three, four, five method to figure out how many blocks away it needs to be. It's probably going to be about 20 blocks, I think. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get working on this because it's going to take me a minute off camera and I'll be back. All right, guys. So I've got sort of my tunnel dug out. I just went seven. That way the water pushes them exactly to the wall. Uh, went up about 20, 15 to 20 blocks. Nothing too serious. Not like any exact measurements or anything. Woo. Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my God. I just broke my pathway down too. Crap. Anyway, so now that we're up top here and about to die. No, we're not about to die. Uh, I made this path up here or these blocks up here four wide for this reason right here. When you put the bucket of water down, it, uh, it makes it go right to the edge. And that makes it pretty easy to work with in terms of where to put the water. So we can just put them in the corners. So for now, let's go ahead and get some more light in here. So the next thing that we need to do is above us is where the spawning pads are going to be. I'm going to do probably six pads in total. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand here and mine upwards 
like as far as I can probably go, like right there maybe, and let's see where that gets us. So we're gonna remove all of this and we're gonna make it to where all the mobs can spawn. I think the only ones I'm not going to probably have are spiders because we can use trees to get string, which is way more efficient. So um, once we get rid of all of these, then we can figure out, you know, how big the pads are gonna be and things like that. I don't think it should be too hard to figure out though, um, because, well, for one, we know for a fact that they only need one space around the edge. And I'll probably end up using trap doors again. Those things are fantastic. I never really used trap doors and modded spawners before, but I gotta say, I am a fan, man. Like vanilla, or I, I should say a hundred episodes on Hermitcraft of vanilla Minecraft teaches you to just do everything in vanilla. <laughs> and I am like really good at modded Minecraft. Like I feel like I'm decent, you know? Pick up all this so it doesn't respawn. All right, so yeah, man, this hammer. Oh, I love it. Could you imagine how long it would take to mine all this out with an iron pickaxe? And then with this iron hammer, it's just like, oh, just a few blocks. No big deal. It's all good to go. So easy. So, so easy. Um, so the game plan here is to just have the, the pads, uh, you know, spawn or whatever. And then in the future, I kind of want to use fans to blow them off of the side. So we've got two different fans, it looks like. We've got the one that makes the iron with iron bars, and then that one. Uh, both of them only, I don't think they both, I think one does one side, and I think the other one does like a three by three area. So I don't know, we'll figure out which one is best when it comes time, but we definitely need more iron first before we can do that. There we go. Okay, so that's all taken care of. So, um, I'm going to fill this in real fast because we need to get our water in place. Um, let's see. I need to put a source in here somewhere so I don't lose this. Put it right in here for now. There we go. Okay. Put that there. Whoa, chill game. Put that there. Okay, so we'll have one in the corner, one in the corner. And the only problem that I see us having is there should be a middle spot. Eh, you know what? That'll be fine. Should work okay. Okay, put this in the corner over here. Put some light in this sucker. So that's where all of the water is going to go. So from there, let's go up to... Actually, eh, let's go up two, I think. So two blocks, and then have a block here. We're going to come over one over one and then get rid of this. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to have it to, I think we may want to have the center at least three blocks like that right there. So this will come over to here. Remember, we want to keep at least one block on the side. And then I made a builder's wand. Best idea ever, by the way. Wasted a diamond on that. Gotta get those life luxuries, man. Okay. So that is one spawning pad right there. And I want to do at least six, which means we need to go up just a little bit further. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll work on the bottom portion, which shouldn't take that long. Okay, guys. So I am down in the main area now and I have this blocked off with these... Uh, with these bricks rather than cobblestone. So when I place the water down and stuff and pretty much just move out of the way. So I'm really hoping I did this right because I haven't seen any mob spawn yet. Little nervous, but it's okay. So we're gonna have the water flow this way and then that's gonna flow to the edge here, but we don't want it to come to the edge. So we're gonna block it, I think with probably half slabs. So let me grab some of those. I probably actually already have about 5,000 half slabs in here because those are one of the things that I always craft. There we go. So I'm thinking, let's see, let's take, what was that noise? <laughs> take that and then, um, how do I want to do this? I kind of want, 
some glass. So let's take some sand, make some glass real fast, just so we can kind of see what's in there. There we go. Okay. Now, put that like right there. Yeah, that should work pretty well. So then we're gonna do a full block there. Nah, maybe I don't wanna do a full block there. I know for a fact we need to do half slabs on the bottom because that's how we're gonna get our items, right? So what if we have to, we may just have to have like a step down or something. Kind of want to get rid of these blocks and maybe put half slabs in there. But there, if there are any creepers at all, it will not work because creepers will see it. All right, so let's go ahead and remove those cobblestone blocks. There we go. So I don't know if there's any mobs up there yet. I can't really move that fast that way. There shouldn't be any cobblestone up there. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this and see what happens. But we're probably going to go ahead and move on, I think. Okay, guys, so I wanted to put in an area underneath of this farm here for a bigger tree farm. By the way, the mob farm, absolutely owning. Oh, yes, I had to put fans in, but it's, it works pretty good. So I'm trying to think about how big of an area this is going to need to be. So I think let's start off at 15 blocks, right? So two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so i think i think that'll be tall enough so then i'm thinking we need to probably do three quadrants so quadrant like here so we have three on each side same right here i probably should have brought torches with me so all the way around, I think that should be more than enough space, to be honest with you. I really like that size. Something like that right there. Um, I, I'm ho Yeah, I, you know what? I think that will be big enough. So let's finish. Let me finish digging this out real fast. I need to go upstairs and get torches. We also need to think of a way to get down here. Uh, I don't know if I have an ender pearl or not. Let me go to the top real fast. If we have an ender pearl, then we can just use our two ender pearls. We can use uh, elevators. Go in here real fast. So I have one ender pearl right there. Is there another one in here? No ender pearl there. Let's check these bags real fast. Okay, do we got an ender pearl? Come on, ender pearl. Eye of ender. Eye of ender with a very good unusing. I don't know what that does, but we're going to use it. Uh, ender tether guest here. So no ender pearl. Dang, that sucks. Okay, so we'll have to figure out a better way to get in and out of there, but let's grab some torches or wherever I put them. Uh, apparently I decided to just put them away somewhere else. There they are. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Look at all those mobs. Oh my God. We got to think of a good way to kill them. Probably spikes or something, I imagine. So what I want to do now is I want to take some wood and make some ladders, but also, um, do I have any just, I'll just use this. This should work. We need to make some glass real fast. Okay, well, I'm dead. Mm. Oh, I almost lived. So is this how I die? Let me grab my stuff back. How did he get out of there? He's a feisty one, huh? Wonder where he spawned. Interesting. Oh, that would probably do it. <laughs> First death of the series. There we go. Holy crap. He came out of nowhere, man. Okay, now my poor pickaxe is about to break. Grab that one. That's probably not going to be enough. Anyways, I wanted to grab some wood. First and foremost, I need to make glass. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry. 
I got a, I got attacked by the the skeleton. He threw me off, man. It was super rude of him. There we go. So make some glass out of this. I think we're probably gonna need a few more pieces, but this will be a good start. Okay, put that there. Let's do two more pieces. And I don't know where that block went. Man, I just got annihilated. <laughs> I really did. Like, man, he was coming for the throat, buddy. Okay. Sand. There we go. Put that in there. So for now, we are going to use ladders to get up and down. There we go. We do need one more piece of dirt as well. I'm going to be super salty if this thing doesn't uh, doesn't produce what I want. There we go. We need saplings. There we go. And I need food. What did I do with my apples? There we go. All right, so we got our apples. Let me put my armor back on. Okay. So I'm going to put glass here. Stupid. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me make a pickaxe real fast. Should probably actually make two pickaxes. I am all discombobulated, man. There we go. Okay. Fantastical. Then we go down. So this is where the, the ladders are going to sit. Pretty simple stuff. I just had the weirdest thing happen to me, guys. I was playing Minecraft, and then I tabbed out to go into another window. My keyboard started constantly pressing E. I somehow got tabbed back. Wow, I really wasn't paying attention there. I somehow got tabbed back into Minecraft. From there, I was stuck. I had to literally restart my computer because I couldn't do anything. Couldn't all control delete or anything. It was the weirdest thing. I've never had it happen to me like that before. There we go. All right. Tall tree time. So dirt. Now, I would imagine that if it's going to grow a tall tree, it's probably going to need to be forced to grow a tall tree. Yeah, that's what I assumed. So, so we can totally do that. The easiest way to do that would be to go up into the corner here. Three, four. Put two torches down right there, right there. Okay, so we should be tall tree bounds now. And I'm going to clean this room up. This is just to see if we can get it working more or less. Okay, see if we can force a tall tree. Might take a minute. <clears throat> tall trees are a little hesitant to grow most of the time. All right, so now we can do a tall tree generator. Perfect. That's a huge tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to work pretty good for us, I think. <laughs> that's awesome. Fantastic. So, guys, I think that's probably going to do it uh, for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out.